Hey guys, welcome to my very first doodle tutorial on my channel. I made these lemons for my August bullet journal and I decided to make a step-by-step -step video about how I made them and the supplies I used in case you want to recreate this theme and you want to know how I made my lemons on my bullet journal. Let's start with the supplies that I used. I used the last pages of my past Tsuki bullet journal to make the lemons because the pages are thick so there is no bleed through when making them and they are the same pages that I have in my actual journal, which is the nighttime edition one. I'm using yellow Tomwood Wool brush pens, a true yellow color and a more pastel yellow that I will use to color in the lemons with. A leafy green Arteza Twee marker for the leaves on the lemons and my 005 Pentel point liner for the outlines and smaller details on the lemons. I will use them as stickers so I'm using a pair of scissors to cut them and once I place them in my journal I will use the Zig two-way glue pen that I have to glue them on my pages. First thing is to sketch the lemons. I'm sketching them on the last pages of this notebook since I just finished it and I'm not going to use it anymore, so I'm reusing it for these types of things. I took some time when I was planning this theme to actually practice drawing lemons because they were not looking good at first, so I sketched a lot of lemons on a separate notebook that we will see in my Buju vlog coming soon to just kind of understand the hand movements and be more comfortable when drawing them. I drew a small oval as my guide for each lemon and I went over it to shape it. On the top and bottom I did a more pointy edge so they would look like actual lemons. It really helped me to have the oval guide to draw it and I also searched for doodles of lemons on Pinterest to have a more clear and realistic idea of how to draw them. For the leaves I drew two or three leaves on the top part of the lemons and here there is no right way to do them. All of these lemons are imperfect and the leaves are going to be as well. After that I just had to fill in the whole page with lemons. With all the lemons sketched out, I took my kneadable eraser to erase them because this eraser is not hard on the paper um, and I will still be able to see the lines and use them as a guide to color the lemons in. So instead of using a regular eraser, I prefer to use my kneadable eraser when I'm doing sketches. To color the lemons in, I used the lighter yellow marker first to fill in the entire lemon and with the darker shade, I'm using it as the actual darker part of the lemons, where there is no light on it. I just did a stripe of color on the left side of the lemons, because that is where I want the shade to be. And I went over with the lighter shade to blend them all together. The blending doesn't need to be perfect, but it really gives the lemons more dimension. And then I just repeated that to all of them. You can also do the yellow stripe first in coloring the lemon, blending the two together. This process is a bit tedious, especially if you need lemons for the whole theme and not just for one page. I believe I did 42 lemons on this page and when I was filming my August setup I had to make more because they weren't enough for the whole theme. When I finished coloring all the lemons, the top ones were already dry, so I went with the green Arteza Twee marker to color in the leaves. I'm not trying to color them perfectly, some of them are totally colored in, but most of them are just messy and not perfect. I'm also not going over the same spot twice, so the green doesn't look too dark. Thank you. 
Once I was happy with all the leaves and the lemons, I outlined them using my Pentel point liner in the smallest size, which in my case is the 005. I didn't want to fully outline them, so as I was doing that, I made my hand very, very light and without applying any pressure to it, so the lines would be perfect and they would skip a bit. I don't really know how to explain it, but if you don't apply any pressure to the pen and just do the lines extremely lightweight, I think you can get this effect. I believe that Casey Golden was the one that I saw doing this in her illustrations and I kinda liked the style, so I'm doing that for my lemons as well. I did this for all the lemons and the leaves, and for the extra final touch I added some black dots to the bottom and the darker side of the lemons. This is very therapeutic to do because your hand is free to do whatever it wants to do and your lemons would look very cute and simple. Finally, the worst part of this is to cut all the lemons. I used scissors to take the page out of my journal, but when I did this for the second time I actually used an X-Acto knife to do a line along the page to take it out and it was much easier and it looked more clean on the notebook. For the lemons I'm really taking my time to cut each one individually and I'm leaving this white border around the lemons so they kind of look like stickers but will also help them pop a lot more once I place them on top of the blue tiles in my bullet journal. To sketch, draw, outline and cut the lemons I believe it took me around two hours to do it because even though you are seeing these tutorials pet up, it took me a long time to do everything in order to make them better for my original setup. I still think it's worth it though because the lemons would not pop as much as they did if I had just drawn them on my notebook, so it has worth it in the end. You will see all of this process behind the scenes in my Buju vlog coming next week, I believe. And there you have it, all the lemons ready to use in your bullet journal. I hope you guys liked this tutorial, let me know if you want more doodle with me videos like this, and I'll see you in my next video, bye guys!